Tech TV, Experience Educational Television. The College of Art and Built Environment launched their maiden national construction fair and summit in collaboration with Ghana Institute of Construction on Wednesday, 13th June 2018 at the IDL Conference Center in KNUSD. I'm aware of various initiatives by professional bodies as well as different associations of contractors and other developers to find solutions to some of these beating challenges. However, the fragmented nature of these initiatives has meant that very little progress has been achieved. Again, key actors such as manufacturers or suppliers of construction products, financial institutions, insurance companies, real estate companies, research organizations, and academic institutions have been largely sidelined. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, turning to the theme, which is 60 years of construction, uniting for industrialization. The fair and summit will offer us a unique opportunity to look back over the years at our achievements and failures. It I am informed that construction as an industry has grown consistently over the past five years, up to more than 70% since 2010, and employing over 320,000 people. So it appears that you are doing well. However, Ghana's growing oil and gas sector, investment in infrastructure, rapid urbanization, and a rapid growing house deficit continue to place serious demands on the construction industry. And there also appears to be no legal mandates or enforcement mechanisms currently in place for the industry. It is therefore my hope that at this year's National Construction Fair and Summit, not only will various actors such as contractors, consultants, designers, manufacturers of materials and equipment, the academia, researchers, have the opportunity to showcase their methods and products, but a platform will be created for a united effort towards transforming the industry altogether. We've launched one of the biggest um, uh, estate projects in Ghana, I think somewhere um, last, last week, which is uh, to see 5,000 housing units in Ashanti region, which was launched by Danny Wise Estate in partnership with Kaila Europe BV. And um, it's solely for uh, most of the civil servants. It's an affordable housing project in three uh, areas in Ashanti region. That is Sokoban Kwaswa, Adansi Formina, and Aedria say that's the UCOMS campus. So we are fully in support of your event, and um, whatever it is, whenever you need the assistance of the Ghana Real Estate Developers Association, we are in. We've tried. So the aim of this fair, basically we are seeking to promote modern construction practices and standards in the Ghanaian construction industry. We want to provide a one-stop solution to the construction industry challenges. And specifically, we are looking at a fair that would provide exhibitors with an opportunity to exhibit modern equipment, local materials, technology, and what have you. We and lastly, want we want to use this opportunity to celebrate construction. We have chalked some major achievements. So we want to use that, um, the forum that the fair and the summit would create to celebrate past and present actors in the industry and to together move on to the next level. We want the Electrical Contractors Association to be in there, the Timber and Furniture Association, all the professional bodies in the built environment. We're looking at statutory authorities, financial institutions, all the relevant ministries to be in there. Tech TV News interacted with the representatives from Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly. And so I believe that when it is well done and well organized, uh, it should be able to bring some impact on the way we construct. Uh, all over the world, if you want to quantify, you see Africa, we are slacking behind the way we do most of our constructions. Uh, sometimes if you see somebody's an aspect, it does a project, and so you ha can have something to say about it negatively. And so I think that it's time, it's even long overdue, that we gather together all the players within the industry, bankers and all the people. You see, funding is one of the difficult things we have in, our, in, the, in the sector, and I think that if we're able to bring all the people and, uh, that's under the umbrella and work towards a goal, 
uh, we should be able to reach somewhere. The Provost of the College of Art and Built Environment, Professor Joshua Ayakwa, spoke about the need of the main conference, which is dated in August. So what we are trying to do now is to try and have a platform okay. on which we bring all these stakeholders together. On one hand, to showcase what we have, showcase technology, showcase innovations, showcase new materials for everybody, every uh, person in the construction to see and to upgrade. We will be talking about efficiency, we will be talking about quality, how to do things better, what has been the cause of the problems that we see, poor, shoddy work and all these things, collapse of buildings. All these, we are going to create a platform for people to speak and people to contribute so that in the end we will come out with, um, um, I mean, what we call, we'll come out with recommendations for the country so that we going forward, we'll know what to do to improve how we do things. That's what we are going to do. Mm. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you too. Tech TV, experience educational television.